Hey guys, uh, I want to show you how to print real quickly, um, just so everyone's on the same page. Since we're all collaborating with one another, it's essential that everybody prints the same um, and everybody's print can register with each other's. So I've got the file, uh, the test file from the template opened in uh, Adobe Acrobat Pro. And we're going to use that because it'll allow us to put crop marks on it um, after the fact. Um, Preview doesn't have that feature, and so we need to be in this program specifically. So you want to go up here and click print. And mm -hmm. under the printer name, you want to select the uh, clear film printer. I don't have that option on my home computer, um, but when you're in the lab, you can definitely select that. That would be the one that you want. Um, we're going to pretend, though, um, that I've already selected that. The next thing we're going to do is go to page setup. We're going to select the printer again. And then we're going to set up a custom paper size by going to manage custom sizes. I already set one up, but to uh, do a new one, here we can uh, get rid of that and start from scratch. You click the plus, and then you go over here in paper size. Now we're at 12.5 by 19. That's the size of the French paper stock that I bought you guys. Um, and we're going to change all these to zero. And then you can give this a name. And then click OK. And you'll see that the dimensions reflect the paper size. Now, mine doesn't have a uh, preview. Um, I have some sort of bug with mine. But uh, yours will. It'll show that in this window. The next thing you want to do is go to Advanced. And under Marks and Bleed, you want to click Trim Marks. And then you want to up the line weight. It'll set to a default of 0.25. You want to set it to 0.5. And then click OK and that should include crop marks and then you'll simply click OK and that'll send it off to the printer um, and what you should end up with is a uh, printed film positive with a defined area of 12 and a half by 19 with crop marks on the outside or trim marks as it were um, you can bring those into uh, the lab and burn your screen and you'll be all set Make sure to refer to the uh, dimensions on Basecamp for where those need to be on the actual screen. Thanks a lot.